to Park Maintenance Facility Replacement Initiative Update. Sure. Um, I tried to be pretty detailed in the, the memo I delivered there last week on Thursday. Shane and I had the opportunity to uh, sit in front of what's known as the Marin Project Coordination Group. Um, this is a very informal meeting of several environmental regulatory uh, agencies. Uh, the whole list is there. I'm not going to read them all off. We presented them with the uh, site plans that we had had. Uh, walk them through the project. I kind of gave them each a little packet that included uh, things that are already on the website or came out through the uh, community meeting. Uh, all in all, uh, the project was, uh, it's not their job to make opinions on the project. It's their job to basically state from their agency's perspective. Several of the agencies based on the project said that they uh, did not foresee any level of permit uh, requirements from their agencies that included Regional Water Quality Control Board, the Army Corps of Engineers, as well as uh, the National Oceanic NOAA uh, uh, Fisheries. Um, Fish and Wildlife did say that there is a possibility. Uh, however, he didn't think that was highly likely, and he also seemed to express more concern with the demolition of the old building than he did with the way we were presenting plans for the new sites. Uh, I do think that there was uh, a lot of positive feedback and that everything was moving farther away from the creek compared to where the current thing was. Um, so they appreciated that. Um, there was a representative uh, during our presentation there from Marin County uh, Department of Public Works and the Land Use Division who clarified what the count Title 24 setback requirements are. Uh, which I put in here, I quoted actually in here uh, from Marin County Code 2404560. Um, so we have a good gauge on what that actual requirement is. Uh, otherwise, uh, again, very informal setting for them. Feedback uh, was interesting, it was helpful, it was good. We'll be able to, you know, when Herb has a little time, finalize kind of looking at what those site plans are. And then the next step, on this, we'll be contacting the county planning department for a pre-application consultation meeting. So basically walking them through all four site locations, showing them the site plans, taking those feedbacks prior to actually starting to submit uh, any level of planning apps. But based on what that consultation says, the next step then would be to look into designers who could really kind of take it to the next level that we would have something to bring to the planning department. When are you planning on meeting with the planning department? Um, as soon as I can coordinate their schedule, my schedule, and our schedule. Just for the pre -consultation. Or gonna come. <laughs> for the pre for the pre consultation <coughs> meeting, correct. Okay. okay. Let's roll with this. Let's roll. Yay. Before Do you think it'll get done this budget year? No. <laughs> what you mean the facility? Yeah. Replacing? <laughs> yeah. Are you out here? Yeah. Well, uh, this budget year? This budget year? <laughs> next, <laughs> uh, next summer? Budget year, maybe. Yeah. yeah, it won't be before this winter, that's for sure. Well, this budget year is probably yeah, yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah. That's what he just said. He's <laughs> like, shut up, you can't get a kitchen. <laughs> Any other comments? Sir? Hi, my name is Ray Lorber. I'm the chairman of the Lower Creek Watershed Stewards. <clears throat> Eric, familiar with me. I am surprised that I have not been included in this shit he's talking about. I've received no notice on that at all. I get an notice, an email this afternoon late, for 7 o'clock. How can we construct this shit? We have great concerns about the closing to Lower Creek. We would like to be included in the analysis that you've done so far. Okay. Isn't most of what we've done so far um, published on the website? Yes. Yeah. I had, uh, I've not been notified them. Right. Well, because you don't live in in Marinwood. I'm the chairman of the Nolan Creek Wheelchair Stores. Eric okay. here with me. I'm concerned about what's happening on Nolan Creek. Understood. We'll do a better job of making sure you're included. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stephen. Uh, yes, um, I wonder if Eric could uh, provide the names of the people that he spoke to. I mean, we, we had a nice anecdotal uh, uh, 
report, but um, it's really not a detailed report, and the conclusions uh, and representations are meaningless unless we know who the, those persons were uh, who said these things and what specifically they said, and also what specifically was was offered as plans. I don't know what the four plans are. I assume because of history here that uh, did, you, did you do something with the firehouse? Is that one of the ones that you submitted? These, nothing was submitted. You had a packet though. Did it include a plan for the uh, next to the firehouse? No. Okay. So it included the three sites that the environmental. These were strictly environmental groups. Okay. So um, they didn't offer any opinion on any of the sites, one over the other, or anything like that. They're strictly looking at them from a, a regulatory uh, agency perspective. Okay. So you are extending uh, the district legally quite a bit, I think. Um, I, first of all, I want to say. You're, you're absolutely correct about the Marin County uh, Code, although I think it's 25 feet. Uh, but anyhow, uh, <laughs> and there is also a stream conservation ordinance, which you did not mention, but it exists. And um, in my conservation, my conversations with the, uh, the planning department, they take that seriously, even though it's not. Full, uh, a full ordinance at this time. They do consider it part of what's done. If you, uh, what needs to be done for development. Now, right now, it is a commercial industrial facility. You've got commercial industrial chemicals stored on site. Um, these are, I guess, six. You know, they're cancerous. They're they're they're, they're heavy metals. There's all kinds of stuff. You're parking the dump truck on the bank that, uh, that gave way a few years ago. Um, basically, the existing um, structure sit is directly on the, the stream bank. Um, and you've got at least seven neighbors who are very strongly opposed to this. And I do have the tape of the meeting. It seems like none of the uh, public concerns really were uh, considered going forward, and so um, and you just made some comments. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know what the hell you guys should think you're doing. I mean, really, you, you got to pay attention to the environment. You also have to pay attention to the the public. And um, I, I think to ignore that is to ignore your responsibilities as representatives of the public. That's your responsibility. You're not decision makers for the public, your representatives of the public. Mm -hmm. And you're also stewards of this, this, um, this park, okay? So there's a, been a lot of bad things done in this park over the years. Gary uh, shored up the, uh, the riverbank uh, next to the maintenance shed years ago, illegally, without any permits, throwing concrete into the, the stream bank. He did it again when they pulled out some sidewalks because he needed to get rid of some concrete. I want to bring you guys into present day, not, not do 1950s uh, style environmentalism. I want you to do responsible environmentalism as of today. And if you're not going to hold yourself to the standards, Eric, are you paying attention? I'm, I'm going to hold standards. you guys responsible. To me well, I, 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 I'm, I, because hold on. Let's not raise our voices, please. Okay, it's fine. It's I, I expect professionalism and integrity in the, the, uh, uh, in the management of our parks, okay? That's fine, Stephen. Keep it calm. And Thank keep it responsible. That's all matters. Thank you for pointing out all of the reasons why we need to replace the existing structure. Secondly, I would like to point out that the primary goal is not necessarily to please the public. It is to provide a safe environment for our staff where they don't have to worry about being electrocuted. Okay? The building floods. That's a primary thing. 
Second, that's an admission that it's in, in the. Protect, okay, I'm sorry. Protecting assets from rusting and being destroyed or having chemicals, as you pointed out, wash into the creek. There's every reason in the world to make this change and to up, upgrade that facility, move it away from the bank. If it happens to upset a couple of people that are nearby, um, I would recommend that they also consider that when they bought their houses, the facility was there at the same time. <coughs> right? May I ask, may I ask how far from the, the North Creek or New Shed you located? Well outside the 20 foot. Um, it would certainly be outside the Title 24. That's still to be determined. All, all the site plans, right? I'm happy to walk down there with you and I'll meet you there personally anytime and kind of show you where we're at. Yeah. Uh, anytime you want. I mean, you and I have done these kind of things before in the past and worked sure. in the past. Uh, obviously, everything is going to. The, the, to have allegations that we're not paying attention to environmental concerns is simply mislabeling and misinformation. Um, that's, that's exactly why we meet with all. I, I know you have, and I'm certainly not accusing you of doing that. One of the things uh, that I, I do hear, the concern about the pool, and what you should do to protect the pool from the Washington debris, just kind of reminds me of the bridge over Lucas Valley Road up by the Civil uh, Road. They, they have requests for protection from washing out that bridge over Lucas Valley Road multiple times. And they've repaired it multiple times during a disaster. They always have funds for a disaster. They never have funds and timing and planning to do it correctly. It's been a nasty, nasty situation multiple times. And it sounds similar to what we were talking about here this evening, of, uh, of not having enough time and money and resources to do the planning, which might take several years, but you have resources to do emergency when it does wash out. But, uh, it's not a good idea to With do regard that. to this particular facility, we are trying to plan this. We are right. also, um, we also have um, what's called Measure A funds yes. available for this particular purpose to the extent that we'll cover the entire cost is um, still to be right. determined, but we do have funds and we're trying to do this right, okay? Um, we've also engaged the community and we realize there are people who live by where the current site is who may not be thrilled with having it rebuilt. But um, the fact is that from an infrastructure standpoint, from the opportunity to move away from the creek and protect the creek, we have an opportunity there as well. And we will be looking at that. And we'd love your input. Looking forward to hearing. Please. I would, I, do you have uh, the names of people that you contacted? Not in front of me, no. But do you, you, do you have them? Uh, I, I know it was at the meeting. Yeah. So can you provide that to me? Sure. Okay. And their statements? I s simply want documentation. If they're, you know, you're, they're saying what it's they're saying. It's an informal saying. meeting, Stephen. Minutes aren't taken at this So point. if it's, it's an informal meeting, then why are you presenting it as a formal assessment? Okay. It's an update, Stephen. The meeting is non-binding and informal, intended to provide a forum for interaction and input of projects in the early planning phases. That's what's documented okay. right here in this sentence two. Okay, everyone in this room is aware that there is a perfectly uh, good site that it has no problems that uh, with the creek. Okay, this is and you haven't even you haven't even looked at it. Okay, you you dismissed it out of hand because. I, I'm not even sure. Maybe it was because I presented it, but but actually I got it from one of the uh, guys in the maintenance department. He said there's plenty of room, and look, there's plenty of room out there. So I think it's just being stubborn on your behalf not to, to uh, deal with this uh, environmental concern, and also this, this is park area too. It, you've got three guys. They've got four vehicles. They've got an anchor acre and a half of uh, space that they've scraped clean, and that is really our parkland. It needs to go back to parkland. Okay. I'm going to respond, and then I'm going to ask Bill. I think we probably wrap this thing up. And the very last sentence of the thing clearly says that uh, we prepared to present all four site options to the Marin County Planning Department for a pre-application consultation meeting. 
So it's one of those floors is correct. The, it's over there. So correct. That has not been brought before. Thing. It has not been brought before the public. So it are, is which, in the minutes right here in this report. The that plan has itself. The update. No, no. The plan itself. The plan itself has not been presented. We presented three plans. We said which which flavor do you want? We went through a public meeting, did we not? Park and Rec Commission. Correct. Right. Yeah, it's clearly stated what all four options say for it. Actually, we presented two plans, two. and out of the committee, out of the meeting, we it was suggested that we look at two other alternative locations. So just so you know, the, the, the neighbors are getting together on this, and they will be addressing the board, okay? So I, I just, all, all I can say is please, please look at all the warning signs, look at your responsibilities, do the right thing, and don't try to force your will on the rest of the community. They're not going to buy it. Thanks, Steve. Uh,